So this is the second defense for the ice pick stab. And they, we call this the elevator scenario. This is when you're stuck and you can't run or go anywhere. This is, you're gonna get cut on this because you're wrapping the blade up, but this is self-preservation. This is your life. So you're gonna get cut a little bit. If you have a leather coat or something like that, you may not get cut as much, but absolutely you're gonna immobilize the blade. So here we are. He does the ice pick stab. I burst, finger the ice, and immediately I wrap. Okay, this causes him from doing any sort of follow-up attack. The knife is, the blade is stuck in here, okay? He could do a pass off, he could try to grab, but I'm gonna be headbutt. okay? My whole body coming in with headbutts, this is my main move, and the arm is keeping the distance here, okay? Now, there's all sorts of schools of thought if once I start throwing elbows, headbutts, about loosing and getting the blade. However, my own personal view on this is, is the Osoto Gary throw from Judo. Once the opponent's stunned, I wanna step, come in, and bring my opponent down. He was at an odd angle there. But now the blade is still stuck, okay? Elbows, and I'm basically throttling and using whatever techniques I can, because he's not gonna be gripping on this like in real life, especially when I nail him, okay? It's gonna come out. And then I have the blade. So that is the whole theory behind this, minimizing damage. So again, diverting it, blade against wrist, burst. Now from here, it wraps, okay? And you can see here how the blade's stuck in here. Now it's gonna cut, but the tighter I get, and I keep going and doing this, but basically immediately, I wanna put my arm here to keep that distance for the headbutt.